Hey guys, how are you doing? Evelyn here and welcome to part 2 of my 5 point tree warrior guide. So okay, welcome guys. Uh, so we're going to be talking specifically about arena stuff. But mostly all kinds of things in PvP. Which is going to be my add-ons, my macros and the rotation I use for arena and outside of arena. Okay so guys, see before we get into today's video, I'm going to announce last week's competition winner. And the winner should be on the screen right now. Congratulations, all you have to do to claim that prize is make sure you send me a YouTube message and leave your email and your nationality. Next week we're going to have a new prize and the prize should be on the screen right now. And for a chance to win that prize is like the video, leave a comment as you're going to be choosing a winner from the comments and make sure you subscribe as only subscribers can win. Okay so guys, first step we're going to start off with the add-ons that I have. Now I'm going to show the specific add-ons and the list on the screen of what I use for arenas, duels, PvP, any type of PvP really. You guys should definitely pause the video and check that out. Okay, so the first add-on you use is an add-on called Font Damage Changer. And what that does is it changes the damage text of your font and it allows you to basically put any font you want in there. The one I'm using at the moment is called Pepsi and all you do is change it and go in and just basically if I do some damage here you can see the font. It's really cool. I know two other warriors using this. One's called Kalinda and the other one's called Bajir. Both really great guys, I love them both. They're part of the reasons I got into doing YouTube in the first place. So yeah guys, next add-on is going to be called Add-on Control Panel. If you open up your game menu, you've got a button called Add-ons. You click on that, you click anything you want, you press Reload UI and it saves you having to log out. It's a really cool add-on. The next add-on I use is called Background Targets. Now basically what Background Targets is, it's a mod on the side of your screen which shows the targets of the other team on your in your BG or an RBG. Just pause and look at everything here and how you change it. But you can click and move around if you want. And first it shows the role, what spec you are, what class you are, and the health bar shows the light the light part shows how much health you have, the dark part shows how much health you have taken away. And also if you look down you see the flag here that shows how many stacks the flag carrier has and who's tar holding it. Also basically if you want you can use it as a gauge to switch between targets when I'm target calling or when a normal BG just want to kill somebody really quickly. Next add-on you use add-on called Gladius. As you can see on the screen this is an add-on for arenas. Basically you can see the ice block has a cooldown coming down that shows you when they can use ice block again. Uh, one of the major CDs mostly ones that reduce damage or can make them more vulnerable. Basically, when they use a CD, it'll pop up there and tell you. On the left hand side of that, shows all the DRs, moves that you've used on them, or your partners have used on them. And basically, that counts down to tell you when you can use it again without suffering a diminishing returns. Now, if you look to the right, it shows 100%, 93%, and 68%. That basically tells you how much health they have left. The one underneath it shows how much man they have left. Just to the left of that, it shows you what spec they are and what class they are, Disc Priest. Then under that it shows you the spell they're going to cast. They may use a spell like you just interrupt it, it's really good. You can also see on every single target so that's good for that. The next one is going to show on the right hand side shows you the trinket counting down 56, 55, 54. Tells you when they've used trinkets. Also to the right shows you when they've cleansed or dispelled anything. It's a really good add on and it's good for switching targets as well especially in the arenas. Okay, so the next add-on uses an add-on called debuff filter and as you can see on the bottom it shows my buff and what it does is it shows the buffs and debuffs that I have and shows the buffs and debuffs that my target has. So if I have nobody target it just shows my buff. If I charge this mob and hit it a couple of times it will show my the target's debuffs. If I click on myself it will show my buffs and in between the two buffs there would be my debuffs. So it's a really cool add-on for that specific reason. The way you set that up is you just unlock the frames, show tool tips, you would set the scale size here, then you go to frame layout, click the top drop down menu, click on player, you would then set your frame size, how many buffs you want per row, click debuffs, do the exact same thing, and click target and do the exact same thing and close it. And that's the add-on set. Next add-on I use is an add-on called Gladiator Losa. And all that does is it announces any trinkets or anything that any player on the opposing team in the arena or even in a duel does and it tells you when they trinket, fair, etc, stun, anything cool like that. 
just basically a good starting off tool for arena but i think once you get more experienced and you find yourself actually getting better i recommend not using it and actually listening to your players and telling yourself when and what you see these to use but it's a good starting off tool next i'll use is called mixed scrolling battle text and what this does is basically on the top of my screen you're going to see a little text appear uh, you'll see in a sec in the video that's what that does and also if you look down the bottom here when I charge you see some extra damage blocked mortal strike glancing etc colossus smash slam all that good stuff and that basically just shows all the damage you have and the way you set this one up is you would go to scroll areas unclick notification unclick static so basically make sure you have all of your stuff set here check the text set it in save it make, click on the A to set what kind of font you want make sure you have all the triggers unclicked because I don't really like them and basically the only two you need, two you need to click there is notification and outgoing that way the others won't show anyways all you do for notification is just the text at the top and the output going is all the damage you're doing that's how I have it set. You can set it otherwise, but that's how I have it set. You can also configure the scroll areas, as you can see. If I click on notification, the top here, you set it like this, how I have set. And if you can click on the outgoing, you can set it like that and basically save that. As you can see, preview. And that's all you do, really, and you're good to go. Next one use is called Moggy. You can mess with that around yourself, see what you think about it. But I'm not going to go too much into detail, it's a full on to see your mugs. Next one is Omni CC, and basically what this one does is if I use Battle Show over here, on the right hand side of my screen you will see 58, 57, 56, 55, which is pretty cool. But if I also Blade Storm, you will see me Blade Storm, and it was a minute cooldown, and when I get to a minute, it will go 59, 58, 57. It's really cool. Next one is Recount. Recount doesn't actually have any setup values. But what you do is you set the current fight and just when you target and attack a target the damage will go up on it and it just does a lot of really cool stuff. And the next add-on I use tidy plates and tidy plates what tidy plates basically does as you can see on the side of my screen or when I click on that mob it shows a bar above their head as you can see hamstring, mortal strike, colossus smash, all the debuffs you have normally. It's a really cool add-on. It also shows the health of the mobs and it's really good like that. It also allows you to switch to other targets. Let's say this guy over here is low mod health. You can just quickly switch to him. It's a really good add-on for that. Okay, so guys, that's it for the add-ons. Next up, we're going to go for the macros I use. So the macros I use inside an arena out are these macros here. First off, we're going to start off with the Bladestorm macro. And what the Bladestorm macro does is if you would charge in, spam the button, it will use auto attacks and you hit white damage as you can see on the target which you normally wouldn't actually get if you didn't spam this macro it's really cool like that and the next macro i use is my defensive stance commanding shot macro which is also the same as my defensive stance battle shot macro which pretty much switches defensive stance uses commanding or battle show and uses an assist macro if you're in the rbgs my next macro is my demoralizing banner macro and what this one does is it allows you to put the demoralizing banner down and then if you press it again, it allows you to put Mocking Banner down. The thing is, it's really good because it, you can just go like that, bum down and bum down if you really want to. But you don't want to do that. Just use them as accordingly as they come off at the cooldown. And as you can see, it switched down the bottom between the two of them. Next one is my Execute Macro. And this macro switches to Battle Stance. Now this is how I switch Stance Stance. And I also use it to execute any targets I want to. And if you're going to be in if you're going to execute you want to be in battle stance to get that extra damage out. The next macro I use is my focus macros. Focus 1, 2 and 3 for arena. And this basically allows you to switch between your targets quickly in arena, effectively allowing you to switch between them and focus and charge, fears, stuns, storm bolts, anything you need on targets. We're actually having to target them and quickly switch back to your target so you can get on it as quick as possible. The next macro is my heroic throw macro. And if you use heroic throw, what this will do is it will spam little daggers and you can use this for some extra damage or maybe you have your one handed shield equipped and you want to get a, a proc of your little weapon -y thing there which absorbs damage that you normally take. It's really cool like that. 
it's not proccing for some reason but it usually does sometimes next one we have is my intimidating shack macro and all that does is it basically switches it fears them then basically stops attacking so you don't accidentally knock them out of fear next one is my rallying cry macro which if you spec for rage regeneration and use that as well if not it'll just use rallying cry any health stones you have and any potions you have next macro is my one shot macro which is mace to face which basically cancels our hand of protection cast recklessness use my trinket uses skull banner uses avatar uses any potions i have and uses stormbolt in your spec for it it's really cool and the reason I don't have Berserker Rage in there is because you might want to use Berserker Rage to remove any fears, any saps, any kind of gorges or anything that may stop you from controlling your character. The next macro I use is my Safeguard macro, which basically uses Safeguard on my Mocking Banner and my Demoralizing Banner. And then it targets the last target. So as you guys can see, if I put a banner down, Safeguard to the banner, and I can charge my target without actually losing my target. That's what the last part is for. The next macro I use is my safeguard spell reflect macro, which basically uses safeguard, safeguards to my whatever target my target is, and then spell reflects any traps that you may want to get. Next macro is my shattering throw macro, and this is basically just in case you have blades no more handle protection up and you want to cast shattering throw, you can just click on that and it will cancel either of them and allow you to cast the shattering throw should you need to. The next macro I have is my Colossus Smash macro. And basically this is what I use to switch between my two-hander and my one-hander and shield. And it's quick cool like that. I actually quite use it quite often. My next macro is my Charge Hamstring Blade Storm macro. Now this is a little different. What we'll do is it'll cancel our Blade Storm and allow me to charge after a Blade Storm if a target happens to run away from me. So let's say I'm Blade Storming and this is me running away from the target, right? Press the macro, cancel the charges, press it again the hamstring to target. Simple and easy. Okay, so the next macro I have is my focus pummel macro. And basically the way this works is, set this guy as my focus, don't target him, cast my pummel, and it pummels him. This is really good for when, let's say, you're targeting this guy and your healer's beside him. You're going to interrupt the healer's cast because you might have him on focus, and then basically just continue to do his damage. It's pretty cool like that. Same with Focus Shatter. All Focus Shatter does is, if I'm targeting this guy, I just cast Shatter and throw. I use that on my Focus target. Easy mode. Next is my Heroic Strike PvP macro. Which basically, if I use Heroic Strike while using Colossus Smash, it will basically use Heroic Strike and Colossus Smash at the same time. It won't hit instead of having me to use it twice. This will save some time when doing damage on targets. Next is my normal puller macro, which is basically like the focus one. We'll cancel our blade storm, cancel our hand of protection, and use my pummel. So I'm blade storming, and let's say he's about to heal, press it twice, and it just interrupts. Pretty easy mode. Next one is my shield wall macro, which basically uses uh, cancel our blade storm, shield walls, uses my 100 shield so I can shield wall and then use any trinkets I may have should I be tanking, which doesn't happen anymore. But yeah, it's really cool like that. The next macro I use is my Spell Reflect macro, which basically just equips my 100 shield and uses Spell Reflect. This won't be needed in 5.4, but it's pretty cool for 5.3 while it's still going up. The next one I use is my Focus Storm Pump macro. So I set this guy to my focus, charge over here. Let's say I want to Storm Bolt him. Just basically type in this shit and just Storm Bolt and he's dead. Stunned, continue to DPS this guy, and we're good. And that's it for the macros, guys. Okay, so the basic rotation for Arms Warrior is basically you would charge in, hamstring, mortal strike, classic smash, overpower times two, mortal strike, overpower times two, then slam, mortal strike, and an overpower times two, and slam if you have any rage for it. Now, ideally you're going to be charging quite a lot, so you're going to have to rage every time. So, don't worry too much about that in defensive stance. That's just the basic rotation, and it's not too too shabby. It does not enough damage to actually put some pressure out without actually having some decent damage. You can use two slams in between, but I wouldn't really recommend that unless you do it after a closer smash. And really, you've got to be managing your rage really good, so you keep that pressure good. So, I wouldn't recommend it too much. I would only do it if 
the occasion arises where you might actually get a kill while you have no CDs. So here's an example of me using the rotation guys, check it out. Okay, so for the burst rotation for warriors, what you want to do is you want to make sure you factor in the fact that you may have the shockwave, hamstring, or any charges or anything you may come into play. But outside of all the shockwaves, hamstrings, charges, everything else, there is a set rotation that a warrior can follow. And the set rotation is basically you would use battle show, charge in, hamstring, mort strike, cluster smash, use slam twice, mort strike, overpower you slam twice then use cross smash every time it comes off cooldown and make sure you use mortal strike slam twice overpower now once you've come out of that or cds you then want to revert back to the original rotation which was basically was basically charge in hamstring mortal strike cross smash overpower times two and more and slam times one if you can get it out but if mortal strike comes off cooldown use mortal strike for for slam and then make sure to use overpower twice and then slam so basically just remember what the rotation was before and i'm going to actually do a small practice to show you what i would mean so let's say we go battle show now we're going to get some rage up because we, let's say in, in a proper serene situation you're going to have at least 50 rage right so here we go guys all right so that's what we just battle show it charge in hamstring moral strike cross a smash pop all tds slam twice Mortal Strike, Overpower, Slam twice, Classic Smash came up, so we're going to use Mortal Strike, Classic Smash, Overpower, Slam once, Mortal Strike, Slam twice, and then that's basically it. Let's say we're going to charge again, and then we're going to switch to the normal rotation because our CDs are down. So Mortal Strike, Overpower twice, Slam once, Mortal Strike, Classic Smash, Overpower once and we're all rage but we would have already charged by then and just charging again more strike overpower times twice and then class of smash then use any sort of slams you have etc just basically it's just more keeping up the pressure now you won't always kill somebody in a burst but it's good to keep that pressure up and not actually worry just about the fact that you just lost your burst because if you worry about that you're not going to get the kill burst was to create the pressure enough so that they will be low health so you can then interrupt with any of your interrupts be it pummel or disrupting shell or a charge so just remember that guys you can also use intimidating shell for an interrupt if you need to and you think you can get the kill by using it so here's an example of me using the burst rotation guys check it out So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please leave the video with a like. If you like, want to give in comments, that, that'd be great. I read all the comments guys, I really do. Believe it or not, I read every single one of your comments and I try to answer as much as I can. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, and you want to see more of this, remember to subscribe. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. This is Evio. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.